feels unreal. You know our hearts cry. If God is with me, I will not fear. I can vacuum. My drains need to come out. Personalize my bra so nicely. She said I look like damn good, so. I will no longer. What up and good morning. It is one day before the surgery and I'm now, I'm doing a few things. I'm going to change the bed sheets. Oh, here it is. I'm going for my sandals. My feet are cold. Change the bed sheets on my bed because everything needs to be absolutely clean. So, and actually this comforter I'm not going to use, but I'm still going to wash it because I don't want it to you know, you just can't risk any kind of contamination. Any uh, infection, excuse me. Yeah, contamination, infection, whatever. So I'm going to take all this off and wash these sheets. If you've been here for some time, then you know that I had gone to an event with Victoria's Secret. And at the event, they gave me their new bra and then a gift card to get some more bras. So I purchased three more bras, right? One was purchased all of the body this is a body by victoria right if you have these you know comment let me know i purchased all of these girl i don't be doing really good with washing my bras well they're a little bit like deformed you know how that goes anyway i say this because even though these bras are personalized because they had a monogram person there personalized my bras so nicely so cute too and it was complimentary well, I'm not gonna wear these bras anymore. And this one's really stretched out, but they're all just so freaking cute. I'm not gonna wear these anymore because I can't do underwire. I think that after a while, I will be able to tolerate underwire, but at least for the first maybe three months, I won't be able to because of the incision that'll go right underneath. So it'll be a, lolly, it'll be a lollipop incision where it'll go down and then a circle around the nipple so because of the excuse me wait wait am i gonna have an under i don't know all i know is i remember seeing in the after paperwork that i need to wear soft unlined bras and because i'm getting a lift i don't need underwire underwire is when you want to lift up the breast i'm not going to need to lift up anything anymore so i don't need the underwire bras i plan on wearing soft low support type bras going forward and then, of course, sometimes not wearing a bra. I get it. I want to enjoy my breast, okay? So I'm going to do what I feel. But, of course, I will wear the bra, wear a bra for the majority of my time because it's a huge investment. I get all that. I also have here my post-op drain care situation. So this explains everything. It was part of a bigger packet. I just took this out. And then starting when I come home, I will have to be taking notes on the drain the time, how many mLs are in it, and then as it starts to taper, this is how the doctor will know when my drains need to come out. So I'll be using this, and then I'll just take a picture of it and take it with me to my appointments so that she knows how it's going. So basically, when I have less and less fluid coming out is when the drain can come out. But if I'm getting a lot of fluid in the drain, the drain needs to stay. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> it needs to stay to collect the fluid having the drain helps for the swelling to decrease faster so my understanding is that drainless procedures will or can result in the body retaining more water or more fluid than it would if you had a drain in so although the drainless idea was appealing to me when i heard about it i am okay with the drain because first of all that's how she does it and second of all i don't want to retain more fluid in my body just because i don't want to drain heck no I'm on the drain and then of course the massages will help get the fluid down and then I have to be on a low salt diet which is going to already make me lose weight because uh excuse me no salt diet which is already going to I need to wash my hair it's already going to make me lose weight because I have protein shakes so I'm basically going to be on a lipid diet for some time I don't even know what I have that doesn't have salt in it <sighs> and the thought of eating anything without flavor is disgusting to me and, and flavor has salt in it Right, I'm not gonna just eat something that has, let's say, what, curry powder in it with nothing to, like, no Maggi, no adobo, like what? So that's gonna make the weight loss intensify for sure. And then hopefully I can maintain it with working on everything because I do plan on just staying fit, right? This is not a weight loss surgery for me. It's a corrective surgery to correct the abdomen and the breast. And then I still want to tone and, and be healthy. And I've been working on it. I've been on keto for three years now. So we're going to still continue all that. I'm not going to just be wilding out because the carbs make me inflamed. They cause water retention in my body. So I don't want to 
do anything to cause water retention. And I've heard of people drinking Gatorade after the surgery and it's on my documents, my packet. And I was told that, no, that Gatorade has salt in it. We're supposed to not have salt. Like you're trying to decrease swelling in the body. So why are we having Gatorade? I don't know. Folks be doing different kind of things. I'm not going to do that. So yeah, man, it's so funny. It's so funny. Sharita's is like, what is your after your first meal after surgery going to be? I'm like, I'm not trying to wild out on meals. I'm still on keto. I'm still going to stay focused. I'm, I'm, I am very determined and discipline was a huge, th actually, actually, if I think back to it, that might've been my word for this year, discipline. So mm -mm. I need to maintain discipline. Okay. No, we still going to keep it, keep it where it needs to be. So I am just about ready. I am going to end up doubling both of these pillows to use on my back, but I did also get this. So I'm gonna just see how I feel. I have to sleep upright, obviously. Maybe a little bit of an angle. I'm gonna see because I can double those pillows or I can do this situation. I have both of the options. But in the morning, I will set up my bed more. I do have this pee pad, which is great for humans and dogs, actually. It spreads really wide and long. If you had a queen size bed, it would go from edge to edge. This is a king, California king, so it goes almost all the way over. So this is a, a you know washable, absorbent type pad thing that you might, I still need to wash my hair, that you might see in a hospital, whatever. So I have that. I have two of those actually that I'm going to put down. I also have the huge garbage bags that I was telling you about, the recycling bags. I will in the morning lay that on here too. I hope I'm not going to be draining and spilling it and stuff. Um, my mom also brought some of the chocks, which are the just dis disposable pee pads. Yeah, they're called pee pads. So what else do you call them? That's what we call it. I have those too. So I have a few options. I'll set up the bed that way. I also have this, where is it? This step stool that Nini actually uses all the time. I'm going to put it here because my bed is really high. Although I thought about it, it would require me to use my abs to step up. So I don't know how that's going to work because I have to use my abs. I have to get up on the bed. So the whole getting up process is going to be intriguing. They didn't say that I would require, they didn't say that I would need a, I mean, they did ask if I had a recliner and I said, no, we're going to just have to see. I got to get up out of bed somehow, some way. I'm going to pack my valve, not valve, I'm going to pack my hydrocodone with me and I'm going to put my bras, the two sports bras that I was supposed to purchase in my barf bags. I'm going to put them in the car. The barf bag is for the car. So I'll put those here so that I don't forget. This place is such a mess. I went to the African store to buy the stuff. So this place is a mess. I need to tidy up very soon. Oh, oh my God. I didn't know y'all would slide it down. You should have said something. Very soon I need to drink my Gatorade. I have a 24 ounce Gatorade. I was told to get the Cherry Glacier something something flavor. Girl, I need to wash my hair. I'm gonna wash my hair separately. Then I'll do my shower. Because the shower, I need to shower with Hippocleanse, the anti bacterial, antiseptic, whatever the, you know, the soap for surgeries. So I don't want to wash my hair and then do that. It's just too much. So I'm going to wash my hair in the tub and then I'll, you know, but yeah, so very soon I'm going to do my Gatorade. It's 12 of the 24 ounces within five minutes. So I'm going to just chug it. And then in the morning before 4.30, I chug the rest of it, the rest of the 12 ounces. And my surgery time, I got a call, I got a call from the nurse today. My surgery time is 6.45, no, 7.30. So the call time or the arrival time is 6.45 and I'll finish. I have the email. I'll finish around 2.30 and then I'll be home. I'm going to put this ear patch. So this will go behind my ear in the morning. And then I will also take with me my hydrocodone because I'm told that the medicine I'm given there may wear off by the time I get to the house, honey. I'm trying to stay ahead of the pain so that I don't get to a level 10 in pain terms. But you know, I have a high pain tolerance, so I, I know that it'll be, I know that I'll be okay, I really do. I'm really 
excited to just see how I'm going to look and just get it done with. And I can't lie, I am in some ways memorializing my old body, although it doesn't make me happy and it makes me uh, just, I don't, I don't want it anymore. I am in some ways memorializing it. It's like when I knew that I wanted to lose a lot of weight, I was like, man, but how's it going to feel? Because I'm so used to being like this. So of course, I'm so used to looking and feeling a certain way. Now I'm not going to have that. It just feels like, whoa, but I am definitely deserving of it and ready for it okay let me tell you this lighting is light and dark anyway let me let me do one two one two and then go wash my hair okay so i'm laying down i've done my hippo cleanse body wash like my shower and i have on a fresh robe and i wash my hair i put it in twist you'll see it tomorrow <laughs> and uh yeah fresh sheets fresh blankets all of that and then in the morning i will shower again with the hippo cleanse supposed to avoid all of the membranes so ears nose I didn't put on my face I'm not doing facial surgery so ears I didn't put on my armpits you know it'll run down but I didn't intentionally rub my armpits with it because I feel like that would be sensitive and obviously the vaginal area and the back door so yeah I feel dry but I need to just go to bed so I don't think about it it is 10 o'clock I had a busier day today than I would have expected honest to god just a lot going on. I have a headache. Anyway, I'm going to go to bed right now because I need to get up at 4.15 or like 4 to drink the 12 ounces of Gatorade. And then I will get ready at 5.15. I'm going to leave home at 6-ish because we got to be there at 6.45. So I'm like contemplating because all I have to do when I get up is brush my teeth and shower again. That's it. Oh, well, and then like put, yeah, I mean, I've already got everything done. So I don't even know how I'm going to, how I'm going to do the whole morning because I can't stand being dry. So I'm just like, oh, I'm going to avoid sitting around dry. It just makes me so, 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 so uncomfortable. It's unbearable for me. It really is unbearable for me. So I'm like, Ooh. anyway, so yeah, I'll put on my, you'll see it, this thing that I'm going to wear. And then my uh, compression socks and I'll wear my slides and we'll call it a night. So yeah, anyway, I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. It's 4 a.m. right now. I am really tired, more so because I didn't sleep enough and because I'm also looking forward to thinking about, can't believe what's happening, literally can't believe it. So I didn't sleep very well at all. But anyway, here we are. I'm gonna drink. I feel my skin feels dry too. That's another thing. Sleeping with dry skin is just a nightmare for me. So let me chuck down my Gatorade to finish this right now. I'm looking through my post operative instructions one more time just to make sure I don't forget anything. And the whole point about the Gatorade is to drink it quickly and let it, what, digest before I get there. So that's why I take it before, you drink it before 4.30. I drink it before 4.30. The surgery is at 7.30 a.m. And this is, did I say this is the morning of? I mean, that's obvious. Is that not obvious already? Oh, I took off my earrings yesterday. I have not taken off all of my earrings since, I mean, I've never done it actually. So took off my earrings and I want to remember to put them back in tomorrow when I, when I feel better because I don't want my ear, ear lobes, the holes to close because you know the two are new. I mean, they're like a year old, but still. Oh, okay. I'm reading the hip, hip cleanse protocol and I can do the armpits. Okay. Well, I know that some got on my armpits, but I'll make sure when I shower today, I do the armpits. It says to ignore or avoid eyes, nose, mouth, ears, genitals. Okay. So I will do my armpits. Don't apply anything to your skin afterward. No perfume, deodorant, lotion, nothing. Don't shave. I shaved days ago. And I and I have laser, but you know, I just touched up my Brazilian a little bit. Because it's still a little bit of hair that comes. Yeah, this is everything, you know. I got my hydrocodone. It just feels weird. It feels unreal. I can say that. <laughs> it feels... Unreal. Okay. Oh, I also have this transdermal patch for nausea. Scope. 
scopolamine. I'm going to put this on after I shower because I don't want it to get wet in the shower. So, oh, this may cause drowsiness. What the heck? Mm, okay. Yeah, so this patch is in, apply one patch topically behind the ear the morning of surgery. So, yeah, I am going to do that patch. So, that's the next thing I have to do. But, yeah, if you're wondering, I mean, it feels unreal. It feels like a dream. I'm just basically trying to make sure that I savor the last moments, literally, the last moments of not being in pain. That's just what I keep on thinking. Savor my last moments, that's all I can say. Okay, I'm gonna just sleep a little bit until, I'm gonna sleep until 5.15ish, we'll see. I'm, I'm sure I won't be able to sleep, but I'll try my best. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be open to you. My dear Lord, you know our heart's request. You know our heart's cry. And by faith, we thank you for answering our prayers. May your name be lifted high forever. Amen. I just opened up that large recycling bag like I told you. And I'm just going to tuck this down here. I wonder if I should get my tape and tape this. <laughs> oh my God. I mean... I don't know that I'll need this bag for days on end, perhaps just for today. I use white sheets, not going to change that, just not going to change that. I have the bag, I also have these chalks, so perhaps I'll put the chalks on top. You know, just more layers that I can just easily peel off and throw away and go from there. <laughs> you know how slippy and slidey this stuff is? This stuff be sliding all around, but... Yeah, this is just, this is just my situation right now. I don't know how sustainable this is. Perhaps I'll just do the plastic bag. Yeah, I don't think I'll need the the plastic bag for days. Maybe just day one. Girl, I don't even know. I might go get some tape. I don't know. But I'm just thinking if there's leakage, then I have the bag on the side. Here's my stool, and like I said, you need to you need to use your abs to step on the stool. So I don't know, but. I may need this to to get up and sit down. So, yeah, I'm gonna keep this stool here. And I, yeah, the pillow. This thing is so stiff. Oh my god, it is so stinking stiff. It ain't comfortable. I wish I had never bought it, but whatever. So I'm gonna use my two pillows, like I said, and then I have my neck pillow. You feel me? Because I tried it and it, it's comfortable. Got my water. Got my charging station here. And the caddy, like I told you, my blanket. I'm putting away lots of laundry. I am supposed to get up and move around anyway, so if I need to do one, two, and two, I can. And before you start saying, I don't do too much, you need to get up. I cannot lay in the bed for two weeks. Absolutely not. So I need to get up and move, and I can't lie. I've been practicing what it'll feel like to be hunched over. Because I'm like, okay, if I'm hunched over, what can I do? My legs are working, my arms are working, right? So I was like this. My legs are working, my arms are working. I can obviously kind of brush my teeth. I can vacuum. I literally have been walking around like this to practice just to get a sense of what life would be like down here. And I understand what people have been saying about the back pain because what you're doing, even when I do back workouts, when you go up, you know, let's say the back workout's like this, and then you come up and, you know, it works out the muscles right, right up in here. So I get it. And honestly, I look forward to that being a little bit toned. So that's okay but yeah you know here's the droopage and we're gonna pick these things up just like this and yeah and here's the stomach you know but anyway i cannot wait to not have to hold in my stomach anymore i cannot wait to simply be able to just let my gut go and then there's no gut because all my life i hold in my stomach and I will no longer have to do that. Because when I let it go, and I look like this, I will no longer, can you see? Oh God, it's too high. Because when I let go, and I look like this, I will no longer have to. I just had to do that shake for dramatic effect. Wow, it's already six o'clock. I, uh, I need to hurry up. Okay, so I finished doing that. Perfecto. I'm gonna, like I said, shower and do my soap. 
So this is how much of the HIPAA cleanse I've used. I mean, I was just literally pouring this on myself because it doesn't get sudsy. It's just like pouring a liquid on your body. So anyway, <laughs> I've used a lot. So, you know, getting a big amount was good because I really wanted to make sure I was doing it the right way. I'm putting on my compression socks right now. Got these from Amazon. I'll link it in case you want them just for life. I realized that I really should be having compression socks in general because on airplanes, my feet swell. I mean, they definitely swelled when I was going to Dubai. Ooh, I should have had compression socks. And these are going to be on me for likely the whole two weeks of recovery. I mean, recovery is obviously for months, but, you know, the immediate recovery. I'm going to have these on for a long time. Ooh, my skin feels drier than dry, yo. Is this supposed to go to my thighs? God, it's tight. It's tight on my thighs. Okay. Oh, they're rolling down. Wait, I pulled it up too much. This is the this is the heel. I'm so annoyed. Hold on. I'm so annoyed. I pulled it up too much. Yo, my skin is dry. Hey. Let's just do this. Yeah, I pulled it up too much. Hey, Jesus. Well, now it's too big. Oh. Hey. And then this I got because I was watching someone's video and I like it. I got XL. I can actually wear this post surgery if it's not all gross. It's fleeced on the inside. Very nice. And it's just a one day. I have nothing else on underneath it because I'll have on the garment. And yeah, I bought this in black and gray. And I twisted my hair yesterday. What did it look like? <laughs> this is my first time twisting my whole head. Can you believe it? And I put some oil in it. And I just plan on letting my hair be in its natural state while I recover. Like, I, I was going to do braids, but I don't feel like dealing with the heaviness, the annoyance, the pain sometimes. Just let my hair breathe, y'all. So I just washed it well and put it in these twists. <laughs> so I'm going to go just like this. Yeah, yeah. It is now 6.06. .06. I got to be there, 6.45. Let's go. Oh my god, I was about to walk out of the bathroom and I almost forgot my soap paling school pala. E good. Mm-mm. This is for nausea. Cut along the cut along the line. Okay. That's it. Look how long my hair is, yo. Like, come on. This is serious, okay? This is serious. Just wanted to let you know. Okay. Ah. Alright, let's get this out. Big is it? Oh, this is really small. I thought it was gonna be huge. Look at how small it is. Wow. Okay. Oh, it's for three days. Okay. So I'm gonna just peel it. Mm -hmm. I have no lotion or anything on. And it said behind the ear. How far behind the ear? Eh. Behind the ear where? Like down? Eh, God. I don't know where to put it. Hey. Eh. Okay, this is where I put it. I don't know. Okay, that's it. Is it bent? Hey, Jesus, I think it like folded a little bit. Okay, I don't know. I just like, I'm excited, but I, okay, let me stop. Let me stop. God is with me. I am not, I don't have to fear. God is with me. I will not fear. God is with me. I will not fear. God is with me. I will not fear. I mainly just can't believe it. I mainly feel like I'm dreaming. That's what it mainly feels like. It's like, this is not real. Yeah, these bags came in handy. They come in handy when I do my PR box openings and Amazon purchase openings. But look at this. All right, I'm gonna push the seat up and the back up because I'll be hunched. Okay, push the seat up. And is that good? I don't know. I guess that's good. <laughs> this is insane. Okay, and I got my Brizias here, my sports bras. Great. Mm, yeah.
Yeah. <laughs> wow, can barely talk. Yo, update for you. Thank God I have a high pain tolerance. This shit hurts you. If you don't have a high pain tolerance, don't do it. If you have a high pain tolerance, you'll be fine. I took my norepinephrine. I took my antibiotic, and now I'm gonna sleep. I'm drowsy from the NT what anesthesia, and yeah, I have more to say later. But uh, this joint is painful. Okay, <laughs> that ain't no lie. C-section was painful, and this is also painful. I'm so winded, like I, you know, like I'm in a man of marathon, we're in a marathon, you know, because I did a lot of different things, obviously. But oh, okay, I guess I can show you this. Here's my situation. Oh. Excuse me, I forgot to cut the drain. Two drains in. If you get gooey and like grossed out, don't look. Fast forward this. I already emptied the drain. Oh. Oh, we didn't do this one correctly. Shit. We're supposed to squeeze it. Oh shit, we gotta fix the drain. Oh man, I forgot to do it correctly. We're supposed to, <clears throat> supposed to squeeze it. I was to squeeze it and leave it like this. I forgot to squeeze this one. I was like, that's why I was like, why is it full already? I just recently changed the drain. Okay. Let me fix that, but she said I look good. She said I look damn good, so. Look, 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 honey. The pain is serious. I'll tell you that right now. Even with the coat on. Even with the coat on, it's like, wow. Oh yeah, this is a surgery. I can't imagine having done my, like, like BBL people. Yeah, I can't imagine that pain. Because this is terrible. So can you imagine not being able to sit? Wow. Anyway, pain is pain. So I guess if you do it, you might as well just do it all at one time. And get it over with. And I know what you're saying. Put the camera down rest. Thank you. I'll come out too. Oh, I gotta fix this drain. Shit. I gotta get the air out, basically. Okay. Let me do that right now. So basically, I have to get the air out of it. So. Unhook. Yeah. But it's not full, so it's not gonna make a mess. Unhook it, squeeze the air, and then close it. Yeah, it's supposed to be like this. Because then now, oh, I should turn this. Not me dedicated to the content. So now, when it drains, it automatically expands. So it has to start off collapsed. Yo. It's not easy. My mouth feels so dry. And my throat, you know, I didn't realize I was going to get a Friggin' throat tube until I watched the YouTube video. And I was like, wait, they can't put a tube in my throat. Sure enough. So then this morning, when the man mentioned it, good thing I wasn't shocked. And I was like, what? So, it literally feels like I have. A severe sore throat. That's what it feels like. It feels like a severe sore throat. It's supposed to go away. 
I know I have my water and I have ginger ale, but you know what? Yeah, <laughs> Kumano is that. Shit, I got the wrong stuff because, you know, we have these aesthetic -y glass cups and the glass disposable straws. Well, honey, how the hell? You can't bend a glass straw. You feel me? So, <laughs> I'm struggling with a glass straw and I'm about to pour a drink down my mouth. So, that's my issue right now. I <laughs> have any plastic straws that are bendable. And I don't believe I have any. So stupid. Anyway. Yeah. Where's my phone? I'll call my sister. I'm sure she wants to talk. I'm not that sleepy right now, but I'll sleep soon. Why you thought they were gonna say I was dead? You thought they was what? Well, I don't not dead. I don't know. I don't freaking know. I just didn't know. I just I don't know. This. I uh, I just was like, how many times the hell going on? This girl. And I call her like eight hundred. This pain, Jay. I don't know how I came to him, so I mean I'm not crying or anything. Yeah, but if I saw you having yeah. pain, I effing mean it. I effing mean it. Like this is not a walk in the park. I remember it's reminding me of the C section on the lower stomach. Like I'm reminded now. But you know, this is all of it. You know, it's it's like my stomach, my back. It's, it's weird. Even now, I'm feeling some tingles in some places. Even my armpit. I was like, why is my armpit? Because they labeled the armpit. I was like, yes, get that fat out the, out the armpit. Wow. You have the fat right here. This is going to be Well, she said that sometimes. Not sometimes. She said that that's breast tissue that travels to the armpit. But she did label it. So, are, you, are you covering the speaker? You keep going in now. I'm not. Let me, let me put my earpiece on. Right. I need to use the restroom. So, and while I'm there, I'm gonna change this drain. This one is fine. Okay. Oh, and I took my Valium. So I took the muscle relaxer, which I'm like, shoot, I should have went to the bathroom before I took it because that's supposed to make me drowsy. But I'm gonna go to the bathroom and then come and sleep. I haven't slept yet. Oh, I want to call. <clears throat> oh, but I'm nervous. What? <clears throat> Jesus Christ. But the cough is right there. Wow. That was so painful. Even that small cough was painful. What? Man of God. Mm -mm. That thing can stay right there. A phlegm. You can sit down there for a little bit. I said, but slap my slide, they got cry cry. Yeah, put you to sleep, yeah. Yeah, when I went in, they gave me the IV. Woke up. I was done. I know, huh? When I woke up, no matter you. So how is the pain now? I told Shia, I said, this freaking hurts, but I have a high pain tolerance. But does it hurt me? Yeah, it freaking hurts. But. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Very serious. All right. And I need to cough, but I can't even cough. Yeah, how are you going to do that? I'm leaving it. I'm going to leave it. No coughing. <laughs> yeah, it is cold in here. Yeah. I know it's tough to leave it Let me use my arms a little bit. I'm even going to take this off because it's making me slide. When I get up, you... Okay. Yeah, it's making me slide too much. Can you, if I hold you, can you pull me? Yeah. Thank you. That's better. Yeah. Okay. And not the blanket, please. Yo, yo, checking in. I have on this robe open and I'm laying here. I'm gonna get up soon and change my drains. I've changed them twice and I had 50 ml of fluid on each side. So the drain is working get that fluid out. 
Did I notice swelling on my leg? But I'm sure it's there. And I already had my Valium, so I've had medicine twice. I had Codone at two, Valium at five. I'll do Codone at eight. That's in 30 minutes. <laughs> my mom's bringing the walker. She has one for herself when she was sick. And then I'm eating for the first time toast. This is bland, but it, I don't have a big appetite. But not only that, I can't think of what to eat that doesn't have salt in it. And my mouth is so dry, I can't wait to brush it, like just to refresh. Oh, it's so crap, Emma. Alright, made it to the bathroom. And this is how I'm looking. At least preliminarily. Trains need to be changed. And I do feel a little bit dizzy. Pee and medicine. Shit, I get my water. Hold on. It feels like um, I need to cough, but that freaking trick, whatever they did, this gave me a sore throat. Okay, this is Valium. Okay, this is Aspen, and this is Promethazine. Where the hell? Which one is the knock on? Where the hell is my... Where is it? Oh my god. Okay, I gotta pee first. I'm about to pee myself. Oh my god. Hold on. I didn't realize that the medicine was right next to me. On the bed. Here's the hydrocodone. There's one pill. And I'm gonna leave it here because every three hours I take something, whether it's Valium or Narco, and It'll give me a reason to come to the bathroom and also to walk. So yeah. Now, I do need to check my incisions. Yeah. She said I have to do a skin check. And I can't talk very loud, so. But I know you appreciate this at least. I have to do a skin check, so let's do that. What have? Okay. My head hurts. Because I just lotioned, I'm gonna wear gloves. I don't wanna contaminate anything. So you just check the incision and then, oh, I bet you this is gonna feel good because this thing is tight. Watch. And even this is tight. It's a bruise. Oh, I didn't know I had a bruise. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh. This actually feels good. It's giving me chills. This is so dang tight. Oh, okay. And then... Hey, let me put this drain. On the other side, so it's held by a safety pin. Oh, yeah, safety pin. Uh, okay, just put it here for now. Okay, and they're labeled one and two. That's what I have.
feels good just to take it off. <laughs> Let me take this off. Middle button, happy. Okay. Oh,
can't. And then you got surgery yesterday. But you won't let